I think anybody making under $100,000 a year that is deeply unhappy should quit and garage sale 52 weeks a year. Goodwill, garage sales, eBay, easy 100,000. Wow. Give yourself three months to really learn the game. Every thrift shop, are you kidding me? Free Shut money. Up. I wouldn't say that I was deeply unhappy, but I found myself in a position three years ago during COVID where I wasn't gonna be continuing my nine to five job. And I've listened to Gary V for years and never taken any action. But at that very moment in COVID, I had a window. I had a window to be able to give this online flipping side hustle gig a go. And three years later, I'm still doing it and absolutely loving it. In my first full year on eBay back in 2021, I was able to achieve $95,000 in revenue. A year later, I grew it to $110,000 in revenue. And so far in my third year, I'm very close to hitting $100,000, projecting to finish the year on $130,000. Now I say all of this to highlight the fact that Gary's absolutely right. In today's digital world, you can absolutely turn this side hustle of flipping goods online into a full-time job if you want to. In this video, what I want to do is take you through a typical day in the life of what it looks like being that full-time eBay seller. We're going to go out to some local thrift stores and I'm going to show you the items that I like to sell for a profit online. And then we're going to come home and have a look at the overnight sales that have been able to come through. And then we'll ultimately be listing up those items that we find in the thrift store for sale onto eBay. It's going to be a massive one. Let's get into the first store. So the day began in the DVD section and I found this Magnum PI. It was season two and it was selling for about $25 on eBay. So that was a really cool start. Bunch of video games as well. Look, I don't always come across games when I'm in thrift stores. They are quite hard to come by, but this one was a really good one. We've got Juiced 2. This was a collector's edition. It was $5 in store. I did see some comps on eBay for about $40. It was complete with manual. This one here as well, Scalar. Hadn't heard of this game. It was selling for $20, but there were a lot of scratches. So that was enough for me to leave it. I dove into the shoe section and I did come across these. Uh, it was a pair of Snoopy high top vans. I have actually stepped away from selling vans. They don't sell for a massive sale price on eBay, collectively speaking. Um, and they were asking quite a top dollar for it in the thrift store for those. Um, these ones here as well, just some Adidas Ultra Boosts. Um, look, a really good shoe. They were $15, but that wear on the sole uh, was just enough for me to want to put those back. Unfortunately, um, there was there was just too much condition is everything and as you'll see with a lot of these items that I pick up in this video um, These new balance as well. I would definitely have bought these for eight dollars But the condition yet again was enough to leave them Well, I'm actually very excited with the way we're able to start off with that first run guys Because there's an item in there that I picked up that I haven't yet shown you I'm gonna save it until the end of the video. Actually, I'm gonna save my top three finds of the day uh, For the end of the video. So stick around for it. The first one that we picked up is a very good one I stayed in the shoe section guys and I found these. These are the ASICS Gel Light 5 and they sell for about $50 on eBay. ASICS is a really good brand of shoes if you're trying to flip your sneakers. So keep an eye out for those. These were only $2 in store. So I should be able to make some good money. This was also a great find. This was the guy that owns this uh, thrift store and he showed me these. Uh, it was a big allocation of Grey's Anatomy. I had 15 seasons here. I think I can get about $125 for it. Paid 55 though, so I did pay up. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy with that. The Nemesis as well. These are a really good pair of footy boots. But unfortunately, he had priced them out at $30. And that was just going to be a bit too steep. They're only worth about $50 or $60 on eBay. I moved into the next thrift store. And I came across a really good brand I don't often see. These sold in 12 hours on eBay. I got $100. 70 plus 30 international postage. So Scarpa, a really good brand for you guys to be on the lookout for. Good hiking shoe brand. These uh, I also grabbed as well. Great condition, pair of New Balance running shoes. Um, as you can see there, the soles have got plenty of wear left in those. I actually left these, albeit they are a very, very good shoe. Uh, it was just a, a bit of a, yeah, as you can see there, a bit of a fabric tear. So I thought I'd put them back onto the shelf. Um, really good pair of shoes here. These are the Nike Infinity Reacts. Um, some pretty crazy comps there. I don't think I'll get that much for them. Maybe about $60, something like that. And then this one here as well was another good one. Blake's 7. It's about, about an $80 TV show if you can find every single of the four seasons. This is me finding the second best find of the day. Hang around for that. Well, that was arguably the best find of the day. We um, didn't pay a whole lot and we got a whole lot. 
You might be noticing a consistent theme here, DVDs and shoes. We're finding a lot of them today, but they sell very well. This Criminal Minds, unfortunately, they were asking $30 in store, but I did find this Narnia that was selling for $30, but I only had to pay the $2 to get it. And these as well, yet another pair of very good Nike shoes, and we've got some fantastic price points. These are just $6, and they should convert into about $45 to $50 on eBay, making about $25 profit. Well, it seems to be a bit of a sneaker day. I managed to pick up these as well, these Nike Air Max sneakers. They're US size 7. They're actually priced at $25. I don't know if you can see that there, but I know the lady in the op shop. She's actually relocated to this store from another store. Hadn't seen her for months. She said, $25? Can't be doing that. You can have them for five. So a massive thank you to her, $5 for those. They should convert into 50. The Nike Air Max I've sold so much before, a very much good bread and butter staple shoe if you're trying to get into the shoe game. Now in the presence of a crazy thrift store run this one guys we've got the nike pg3s the paul george basketball shoes here these are a size 13 and you'll go on to see that there's actually a large collection of this guy and his shoes he's dropped off quite a lot of these shoes and these first ones here the pg3s uh, they should be about a hundred dollars worth he also dropped these off again us size 13 you don't often see the bigger sizes so gel Kayano 29s the soles were in pretty good condition as well i like the colorway on these it's a real shame i'm not a size 13 because i would have definitely worn those i've got these as well Sacconi, not a bad brand don't sell a lot of it, but I figured for $15, I'd go ahead with those. I've actually got ahead and I've sold this already. This sold in 24 hours. Uh, it was an $8 purchase price in store, an, an All Blacks Rugby Union singlet, uh, training singlet. I got a $30 sale price for that one there. Uh, these are some Mad Hueys uh, board shorts or casual shorts. I actually think I might keep these for the personal. Uh, I'm not too sure just yet, but they are brand new with tags. They're a waist size 32. And for $8, I think I could turn that into 30 as well. So I am picking up a little bit of clothing here and there, maybe even sometimes for the personal, as I mentioned. I jumped into some DVDs, and look, this one right here, Seinfeld, you never see this for $10. So that was an absolute steal. They're usually in the thrift stores around the $20 to $30 mark. Ally McBeal here as well, that one sells for about $40. So to see it in store for $10, uh, a bit of a no-brainer. Should be about $10 worth of shipping on that one. And then this one right here as well, Will & Grace for $12. Should convert into about $45. Uh, so that was pretty good as well. This was by far the best thrift store run of the day. We were able to pick up 12 items. Now, I drove past a store, a big Salvo store, that I have never seen before. I don't know how new they are. I don't know how long this has been here. Probably forever, and I've just simply just overlooked seeing it. Um, but it's literally around the corner, so I'm just going to wrap around there now, and it looked it look, it look quite big. Um, so hopefully we can continue what has been so far a very, very good day in the thrift. There was actually two items picked up in this thrift store, and one of them made it into the top three finds of the day. I'll tell you about that in a second, but these Asics GT2000 shoes as well should go for about 80 all right, now I wanted to talk to you guys about my top three finds of the day. And the first ones are a really good one to kick it off. We've got the LeBron 15 Lows. Look at these things. I picked these up for $15. The most surprising thing about these shoes were uh, they were there since the 18th of September. So it's the 4th or the 5th today. So it's been a couple of weeks that these have been in store. Um, and yet nobody picked them up, which is just baffling to me because the comps on eBay, I should be able to get upwards of about $100 for these. And the, the condition of them as well is some of the best I've seen for a pair of basketball shoes like LeBron's. They're usually pretty worn out by the time they get to the op shop. Um, so to be able to see these, they are a size US 9, US 9 men's, LeBron James 15 lows, and they're all black as well, which I kind of like. The all black colorway kind of looks really good as well. So um, to pay $15 in store, it was the first store of the day. We got off to a flying start with those. And then I think it was the second or the third op shop that we were in. Uh, I'd almost given up on the DVD rack because I'd seen a lot of the titles before, but I did stumble across this one though, which absolutely blew my mind. It's called the Venture Bros. There it is right there, the Adventure Bros. This was seasons one to four. Uh, it's a Adult Swim collection. Adult Swim is a really good, I guess, brand or series of TV shows um, that I always like to look out for. They're always sort of cartoon shows. But I'd actually never heard of the Venture Bros. This is the Go Team collection of season one to four. I paid $7 in store. And the comps on eBay were $100 for this DVD set. So one DVD set, one single small satchel to send DVD set going for 100 bucks. That is a massive uptake 
a uh, huge amount of profit to come from this one here. All the discs are in excellent condition. They are complete. It's an eight disc set. I did have a look on eBay though, and there was a $500 copy. Uh, if you had seasons one to six. So that one right there is a huge bolo, which is be on the lookout for those that are new to what we do here selling on eBay. Um, that is definitely one to be on the lookout for, a big, big bolo. And then the third find of the day came in that last op shop where we were able to buy a bunch of stuff, US size 13 shoes here, big collective 12 items in that haul, yet this was the best one. And I, I love the fact that they are US 13. I really like the colorway of these as well. The condition means that they should sell pretty quick. I just know with the Air Max 97 that this brand, this make of shoe, the, the, the sell through will be, I think, a couple of weeks. Um, so the fact that we're able to get them for $15 in the right size in an awesome colorway, is definitely the third best find and I'm very, very stoked to be honest with everything else. Matt's back from the thrift run. Geez, we have had a very, very good morning out there. Look at all of this. Look at all of these shoes that we've got to lift. Well, you get to list up this afternoon. <laughs> I'll add this with the rest of these. We've got 25 listings. I'll break them all down with you now. What it came to, uh, we had a $268 spend today and uh, we got 25 listings, so it works out to $10.68 per listing. So there's gonna be significant profit made in every single one of these, considering I think all of these shoes are at a minimum of $50 each, and we've got 11 pairs of shoes, so that's $550 right there. And then I would say the DVDs, Grey's Anatomy, about 110 to 120, so that puts us up to 660, and then all of that allocation in there with the other $100 DVD, that's 760. Um, I think we could be pushing about $1,000. So $1,000 worth of value here, and uh, we've, we've only paid 268 bucks. So fantastic run. If you're looking to get into the thrift game, try and have a look for this sort of stuff because it sells well on eBay. All right, we have a total of six, uh, sorry, seven, seven sales to take you guys through. Courtney and I actually just found this one literally yesterday. We found a tin copy of Boston Legal and it had every single season, one to five. I think that's every single. Do you watch this show, Boston Legal? No, I don't really watch TV. You don't watch TV? Well, <laughs> I, I don't watch this show either, but hopefully that's a complete series. Anyway, it mm. sold for $39.95. Mm -hmm. um, so postage wise, I think being a tin, we might put that into a box, would mm -hmm. you say? Yeah. Um, we'll put it into a box. We'll put some bubble wrap with it. Um, and that should ship off for about maybe 10 to $12, yeah. something like that. We did pay, uh, I think was it was at $10 yesterday in the... 10 or 12. I think it was 10 or 12. It was, it was cheap enough to go ahead with the purchase, but we got a lightning sale uh, for 40 bucks. So yeah, DVDs, complete series. You saw a lot of it out in the thrift today, so that was, that was pretty good. Um, what have we got next, Courtney? The button, the backpack. The backpack. All right, so this one here, this one was found uh, at a private pick in a recent video. We, we filmed this video um, where it was a big Pokemon collection, a big private pick of Pokemon stuff. And this was just one random allocation of all the items that we grabbed. Um, and it was a clear Pokemon bag, as you can see here. It's, I believe it's a kid's bag. Mm. How much did we get it for? 20, 28. 28. So 28 bucks on that. Um, that would have been a $30 listing price with a, a coupon, I'd imagine, or maybe a best offer acceptance. Um, but that should be very easy to ship off. We can, we can almost bend that up a little bit and get that one into a small satchel, I'd say. Yeah. Um, you're not going to damage something like that when it's just hard plastic. Uh, so yeah, anything Pokemon, you're always going to do well. What do we got up next? Um, the Mayan, Mayans? The Mayans, the Mayans. This was part of the, uh, this was part of the Big W uh, DVD buyout that we had back, oh, I don't know, maybe February, I don't even know when that was. It was. Big W? You remember Big W when I bought all the brand new DVDs? They were oh, retail. No. It was a huge, maybe it was last year. I don't know, time flies. But this is the second season, uh, brand new and sealed. So I bought all of these DVDs at a Big W when they were clearing out their DVDs. Um, and I got them all for $4 a piece. And these were the ones that were comping up around the 18, 19, 20 dollar mark. How much was this? 20 plus 20 international. Brilliant. So this international will go for about $15 worth of shipping. When we do the 15, uh, sorry, when we do the international shipping for 20 with the Australia Post My Discount, we get a little bit of a buffer there. And we make a few extra dollars. Um, so this should go for about 15, which means that we've got the actual sale price of $25. And we bought it out of Big W retail arbitrage for $4. So that's an awesome sale. Yet another DVD. There's the second one that we've had. What else? Homeland. Homeland. So another DVD. Yeah. Forty dollars. So, Forty. Yeah. Forty bucks on Homeland. Uh, so we've got six seasons there. I don't know if that's complete, but it's a very good partial set regardless. 
Um, so you saw me buying them a lot in the thrift. Don't know where I got my hands on this, but 40 bucks worth of a sale price. When you go into six DVDs, you go into a medium satchel. So we're gonna put a bunch of bubble wrap around this one, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it into a medium satchel. Should ship off for about $10. I think that Game Boy. Ah, the Yu-Gi-Oh, yep. This one here. Yeah, that was 28 as well. $28 for a little small Game Boy Advance. We're gonna put this into a pattern mailer, uh, I think because we've got so many of them with the Pokemon cards now, and then we're gonna put it into a tracked envelope for $5. So we're gonna be in on postage for about six bucks there, but it's sold for 28. I picked this one up in uh, the States. This is an American copy, but Game Boy Advance games, they actually still go ahead and they play uh, over here. So um, this will have no issues playing on an Australian device. Um, so don't be afraid to pick up uh, copies that have you know, Europe or the USA. Um, that one at $28 was nice because we bought a lot of Game Boy Advance games and a lot of them from what I could see down there in the video game area uh, have been selling. So that was cool. Uh, we've got one left, I think. $17. $17. I think this very much may have been out of that big W buyout because it's a brand new copy of Pokemon. And I do remember getting a few of these Pokemon games in that buyout. So we paid $4. We turned it into 17 Was there internationals on this? No, I don't think so. No internationals on that. So 17 bucks. Um, we'll put it into a... Well, 17 is a tricky one. Maybe go untracked, I reckon, on this. Mm. Um, yeah, maybe go untracked. Uh, so that'll go for about $3 worth of shipping uh, with a couple of stamps. We use, we use uh, here, we're using these stamps. So we're putting them into C5 envelopes when they're less than, less than 15 or 20 odd dollars. So that was the last. So there they are there. It should be a pretty easy ship run for you, I think, Courtney. Mm. Um, they're all pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and they've come through overnight. So two, four, six. And then this one here, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That one is a pickup at 3 p.m. So make sure you answer the door at three o'clock. Sure. They'll be there. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's sold? Another day.